Right, today's daily rehab is about fixing your squat. Now, I'm going through a couple of things that I see in the clinic with people that are returning to squatting and are getting it wrong. And usually it's because they haven't done it for a while, or they've got really bad habits, or they're a bit weak, and that's the people we see, the people that are weak returning from injury. And when you're a, bit, a little bit weak and a little bit tight, you do some funny things when you squat. And so I'm gonna show you what I see and then we, what we're gonna to do to correct that. Now, what I usually see is when people squat down, if they've, say, returning to squatting after a knee injury or a back injury or something like that, or they haven't done it for a while, what they tend to do is lean forward too much at the upper body, like that, and they turn it into more of a sort of like a half a deadlift, half a squat, okay? So some people will say, oh, it's because if I, if I sort of keep upright, I want to fall backwards. And we're going to work out why that is. But what I do see is that definitely the leaning forward too much. They bend at the hips, which is you know great for a deadlift, but not for a squat. You want to be upright for a squat. And so therefore, they don't let their knees go too far forward. Now, that might be from an old knee injury. So we're going to go through some tricks to fix that and then some exercises in the second part to actually strengthen up what's going wrong. The second thing I see is when people squat, they lose their neutral spine. So when they squat down, they either go into too much extension in the lumbar spine, they stick their bum out, or they, when they come down to sort of the bottom of the squat, they go into too much flexion and round out their lumbar spine by lo and lose the neutral. So almost like a butt wink type problem when people get too low, they run out of hip range or they run out of strength and they round their back out and go from a sort of a neutral spine to a rounded spine. So we want to stop all that and try and make sure when you're through rehab and you're starting to put on load, you keep a neutral spine. So the first thing, the upright stuff, what I get people to do is to try and to keep upright more, is to actually to put a weight in their hand. Because sometimes when you're trying to squat without weight, it's hard to activate some of the muscles if you're a bit weak. So even just a light weight, you know, something that's going to be okay for their knee or okay for their lower back, something like if this is only eight kilos, a light weight, you might even want to go down to four. But if you're holding it close to your chest like that, in this sort of position, okay, so it can easily fall out, then what you've got to try and do is you've got to keep upright. Because if you tilt forward, that's going to fall out of your hands, all right? So there's the first trick, is trying to keep that weight and keep it from falling out of your hands. So when you drop down, you've got to try and keep your upper body upright and automatically you stop that hinging forward. It's a lot harder to keep upright, for sure, and that involves a lot of strengthening issues, which we've got to talk about in a minute. But that is my first trick that I get people doing, keeping that bell or weight, whatever you've got, in your hands like that, to try and train them to stay upright. And you're only allowed to go down as far as you've got the strength, okay? So if their knees are okay, I get them trying to really focus on pushing their knees forward as they drop their bum down. I get them focusing on sitting their bum down on an angle, so vertically, well, on a backwards angle, straight down. So yes, imagine if you're sitting on a seat, you're gonna go, okay, I'm gonna sit down on a seat, I've gotta keep the belt up, and I've gotta get my knees forward. And that will get the first part of that movement correct, and that's the initiation part. We wanna make sure they're not immediately going straight forward down here. So they work on the first part. They may only get halfway down, okay, and then they run out of either flexibility, strength, technique, that sort of thing, as they get down to here and they go, oh, I just can't go any further, all I wanna do is do that. Okay, but at least get the first half movement right. As they go through the repetitions and warm up, you may find that actually they can get lower and lower and lower. The more they switch on a few muscles, they repeat that movement pattern correctly, they'll get better at organizing all the right muscle groups in sequence to try and get lower and lower and lower. Now at this point here when they get lower, this is where you start seeing this sticking the bum out thing, okay? And now that admittedly is gonna be a bit of abdominal strength and hamstring strength, which we'll talk about. Um, but what I try and get them doing is the second thing, is working on trying to stop that happening when they're unloaded, all right? So when that person goes down further and they get to the point here, and instead of tilting forward, they go and stick their bum out to get lower, then we've got a fix for that. Now that little fix is trying to do what I call a sit back in four point. Now, this is quite good for you know people who are coming out of back rehab, knee rehab, because 
doesn't involve squatting or weights. They can work on their form and their neutral spine and their hips rather than trying to do it in standing all the time. So it takes out the complexity of it a little bit. So I get them in four point like this, and sometimes it's handy to have a look at a mirror because when you're looking in the mirror, you can sort of adjust and see what your back is doing, which is hard to do when you're squatting because you have to sort of you know, hold a weight and look to the side. So this way is quite good to start off having a mirror to one side. What I'm going to get them doing is sitting down into a squat, if you like. Okay? But what they've got to try and do is make sure this lumbar spine here stays in neutral. They don't go into extension and they don't go into flexion. All right? So they're trying to keep a nice neutral spine, which is a very, very shallow curve there. Okay? It's not dead flat, that's probably a little bit of flexion. It's just a very shallow curve there. Now, from that position, what I want them to do is slowly sit their backside back to their heels. They're aiming down and back. It's the same like a squat. Down and back, okay? Down and back to the heels. Now, as they go backwards, what they don't want to do is start doing this. Okay, they don't want to go into flexion. So, if you start in neutral, as you go backwards, you've got to think about actually extending. You're not extending, but you're thinking about extending. So, as you go further and further and further, you're going to have to generate more and more activity in your lumbar extensors. All right? And then there's going to be a point where you're going to start running out of range in the hip. So as soon as you get too low, that's going to round out anyway, okay, like a child's pose. So there will be a point where they can't go any further, but it teaches them to actually switch on this to stop them rounding out, okay, going further and further, keep that neutral spine. And when they come back, at the same time, make sure they go into extension when they come back. So when they're from this position, they come have to actually draw their abdominals on when they come up into this position. Now this is one of these boring exercises that's really pedantic, but it does make a difference in teaching them where their spine's got to be. So when they go down into a squat, they're thinking about keeping neutral. Now obviously when they go down in this way, they're thinking about stopping it going into extension. Okay? So they're thinking about using those abdominals and tightening up and through here to combat the extensors doing that. Because let's face it, that extension movement there, when they go down, they go, oh, I'll just do that. There's a lack of strength here, okay? So they need to work on their abdominal strength to bring them back. It's also a lack of strength in their hamstrings. There's also a tightness issue as well. So that position there, to stop them going to extension, they need to think about abdominals here holding and then keeping that neutral spine as they go down and really co-contracting between here and here in that position. Okay. Now, of course, so that you find that too difficult, obviously you need to get the physio hands on that and teach you one-on-one -on -one to help improve that. But that's what we do in the clinic to try and get their form and technique started and get that process of them aware of where they've got to be in their squat. The next phase is working on all the strengthening components that they're lacking in, and that's in part two.